Hi there, Teacher Leanne here. Um, so if you've been watching my videos, you know, I've, I've done a lot of talking about um, tactical requirements and how to get hired. But today I just want to talk a little bit more personally, uh, a little bit about my family and this opportunity, what it means for me personally uh, with my family. So I am a mom. Um, I think I've shown his picture before to my one-year-old son, Colby. This was him at nine months. <laughs> and I stay at home with him. I'm really lucky to do that. Um, I'm also expecting another. I'm about eight months pregnant, uh, due in April. And so my husband has been working, you know, 50-hour weeks to pick up the income um, for what I, you know, for where I've left off. For us to be able to be comfortable while um, I'm at home with our son and uh, to have the ability to supplement his income with data ABC is just unbelievable. I, I really didn't expect us to be able to do that. Uh, we are saving, we're hoping to put a down payment you know, on a house um, and this is really helping us reach that goal. So it's nice to be able to be at home with my son and still provide income and work toward that goal. Um, this is this is my family. Um, this is our reveal photo shoot for our baby, our new baby. <laughs> and um, you know, it's just life changing this opportunity here. If you're a mom and you know maybe like me, you're a little nervous to have your hours, you know, in a, in a contract, it feels more permanent than other companies that let you turn off, you know, a, a class that you might have had on your schedule as long as it's not booked. Um, I just want to say you're actually, you're actually losing more of your time um, by leaving an open schedule, even if it is less permanent and easier to turn off change, um, you know, waiting around and not being paid for the standby time, um, being available, maybe you even have your class set up, uh, your materials set up. It's all time that is taken away from your family. When you're working at Data, you know, you know those two, three hours a day that you're going to be working and you're on the clock on that time, but you're also being paid. So your time is truly being appreciated. Um, you know, that was a really big factor for me, is that I like to be working when I'm working, and I like to be off when I'm off. And I noticed from working at other companies, it was hard to turn those, you know, turn those hats in. I felt like I was constantly working because I constantly could be booked. Um, at Data, it's nice to just wear that hat while you're clocked in and then truly enjoy my time with my son afterwards. That's one thing. Um, another is that, you know, you're allowed, uh, if you're allowed a vacation, certainly if, if you already have a family vacation planned, you know, don't let that deter you from applying. Um, you can give two weeks notice and uh, that'll be no problem. You know, if it's a planned vacation, I mean, two weeks really isn't that. You know, far in advance, you're you're definitely already booked your flight, or your you know if you're it's a cruise, it's already booked. So if you can just let your coordinator know, and you can contact them um, by going into the service section. Um, I use the app primarily. It's the service section, and then there's a big red button that says Talk to Coordinator. And let's see if you were to go in the app, it would be. Um, right at the bottom of the application on the left hand side there's a column and there is a message icon to the left and to the right the words coordinator. Um, so that is how you would contact them. The coordinator is the person that you would want to let know. Um, and that's also the same if you need to cancel a class that's already been booked you know, you do the same thing. You just need to let your coordinator know. They like to have at least four hours in advance if you need to cancel a class. 
Um, but you know, an emergency is an emergency. If you need to show uh, proof of, uh, you know, your your doctor's documents um, to just keep yourself safe and and covered um, with the company, you know, just do that. What you should have, if if it's a true emergency, you should have those documents. You know, just ask for your outpatient papers, uh, whether it's for yourself or a child, um, and you know they'll they'll be pretty understanding about that. Um, that's their one rule is you know, if you have to do a short notice cancel just show your proof um, so I find it to be a really family friendly company and something that has given a lot to my family but also you know allows me to continue to put my family first uh, I do this while my family is sleeping um, works great I am better in the morning than I am at night by night time I need to go to bed <laughs> I need to sleep when I need to sleep I need to work when I need to work, and I need to be a mom when I need to be a mom. That's just what works for me. It's different for everyone. Maybe you're better at multitasking. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I just wanted to say that if you are a mom and you're nervous about um, maybe returning to work or um, you know, will this time compete with my children, as long as you have someone, I do highly recommend having someone available to take care of your child, um, you know, if they should wake up in the night, if they need a bottle, um, you know, diaper change, you know, I just wouldn't recommend having your, your child in the other room with a baby monitor, you know, if they're under, you know, five or six, you really want to have a parent or a, another relative who's able to, to take control of any unpredictable situations that, you know, kids can get into, but, um, you know, as long as you just have that, that one person who can help you uh, take care of your child during that time, um, go for it, really, and then you can, you know, take off the t-shirt and be done when, you're, when your time is up. Um, and if you find that you're juggling it really well and you want to add more hours, you can always talk to your coordinator about adding part-time hours. Um, that's something I'm going to be doing myself. Um, because I feel like I've gotten the hang of this. I'd like to add more hours on the weekend. I find I'm able to function pretty well when I'm up all night on weekends, um, which surprised me being eight months pregnant. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe just one day working overnights, it's a good time to rank in more hours for the week. But... That's about it. I just wanted to share with you a little bit about my family, about my schedule, and try to help ease your questions about juggling work and, you know, family life. Um, all right. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to ask me any questions in a private message or, you know, type them in the comment box. I'll be sure to get back to them. Thanks for watching this, and, you know, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>